Hello, my name's Will and I work for Quell Training. Over the past few months, I've been doing videos in relation to workplace violence. Now, I was intending to do a different video today, but because of the weekend that's just gone, uh, the news in the media was around the subject of CCTV. And since then, I've had a flurry of requests and information in relation to this, where an operator has not used the CCTV system correctly. Actually, they haven't been compliant. And that's the question I've been asked quite a lot over the weekend, i.e. compliance. Are they compliant in using the CCTV system? There are so many different reasons within the area of CCTV. For me to talk about each one would take ages. Myself, I actively deliver training to operators. I audit them. I've been on receiving ends of audits. I've carried out inspections. I sit on boards. I've sat briefing boards. I've been on interview panels. Uh, hiring uh, CCTV operators. I've been through the whole different elements of it. So I do have quite a good idea of how it's run. And I'm going to do is keep it very simple. The one thing that everybody is involved in CCTV actively should be aware of one booklet in a sense. And the booklet is the Information Commissioner's Office Guide to CCTV, i.e. the standards, good practice, whatever context you want to put it into. It's a little booklet, but it's ideal. And what it is, I give it a lot to my clients and new clients and say, look, read it and tell me what you think. And then they come back and they go, right, we get a better idea. What are we going to do? So that's the first element of it. Are we going to stay within the legislation and make sure that we're very compliant on the law? Second thing I then discuss a lot around is the procedures. Now, we make to make sure the procedures mirror the role of the operator. Now, we have two basic sets of camera systems in a, in a, in a way. We have a static camera that are, you see a lot on buildings. They don't move. That's why they're called static. They just take an observation picture of that area and record. The second one is the PTZs, we call them. They're the, basically the pan, the tilts and the zooms. They wear high percentage of the time they have to have operators. And again, depending on the context of the role, what is that camera used for? And that's where the procedures come in. The procedures have to match exactly what the role is of the camera system. Not only that, how are we collating the data? How are we making sure the data is secure? That's where that would all come into it. If you have a third party, i.e. another organisation external to your company that is running the cameras for you, have they got the right procedures? Have you got a copy of them? Are they mirroring your specific uh, risks and areas of concern? This is where procedures are usually overlooked. I've seen procedures written for a corporate building that are for retail and vice versa. I've gone into hospitality and reviewed a set of procedures, whereas they were for uh, an employment centre. I've even gone into organisations where they've just willy-nilly, as I joked, handed over data without any having any receipt or anything like that, or even where the data is going. And I've come across organisations where the breach is unbelievable. And how I know that is because I've seen the footage from the organisation on YouTube. And that's where the ICO from the Commissioner's Office come in. And if the staff are licensed for the SIA, the Security Industry Authority will come in. The next stage I always talk about as well is making sure you have the right operators for the job. CCTV operator's role is very important because they could be using that camera to witness a crime. Their job is prevention, deterring crime. There's immense of subjects within my world that we talk about what the camera systems are for. The only thing I say a lot to clients is this, don't get caught out. Do not get caught out. Make sure you've got the right people in the right roles, whether that's the owner, the controller, or the processor of the data. Make sure you've got the right operators. They're fully trained. They are aware of their specific role and they log and they record correctly. If you're, again, if you're working to an outside agency, Make sure you go and visit them. Look at their standards. A lot of the good CCTV suites I've worked with, they are put the red carpet out to make sure that you can see how professional they are. The one thing that CCTV can do if you have a breach is not only just bring you a whole lot of problems from agencies and a whole lot of fines, but it can also very badly damage your reputation. And a lot of businesses, even us at Quell, know that reputation is everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the short video. If you have any questions, please get in touch. If you like my videos in the sense of what we try to give the information to you, 
please go to our LinkedIn quail page and hit the like in the sense of follow us as well. And then lastly, what we have done is on request, we've taken all the videos now and we've put it onto our own YouTube channel at Quell. So you can then go and watch them at your own leisure. Thank you for watching again. Take care whatever you're doing and I look forward to giving you another video. Bye for now.